Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to Metopia. In the last episode, we went through the rest of the car almost the rest of the Carcaton Ascent, except for the Pro Path, which is gonna have really hard enemies that I don't want to face. And we also made it inside the volcano and got our party separated. And in this episode, we're gonna continue inside the volcano and try hopefully try to meet up where that exclamation point is. So let's get started, shall we? As the journey continues. So it's me, Anuma, Professor Dave, and Turbo on one side. So that means it's going to be just Andrew and Flowey on the other. And now we've got some enemies. Oh, not these jerks again. Freaking hobgoblins. Push them out. Now Anuma's going to go Turbo. Bounce the attack. And dead. It's dangerous to go alone. Ooh. We assist you. Lightning! And now I'm gonna go turbo. With mounted attack as well. Mounted attack two! Here it comes! Nice damage! Got him! I'm gonna worry for a moment there. Ooh, rare hobgob donuts. That's a new version of the hobgob donuts we don't have yet. Woo woohoo! Whoopee! Yep, yep. We can cut off other others. And we can't reach them to the rubble. They must be sad about it. Being split up from me, I mean. We'll just have to press on. They must be in real trouble. With me not around. I'm going. <laughs> um, that's funny, because. My character is only worried that he'll be all around, that he, they'd be away from me. <laughs> and now I got more enemies. Anyway. A bomb and- oh, a new enemy. A burning mummy. So a new version of the mummy enemy. Anyway, let's go ahead and glitch out the bomb first. Shut it off. And kablooey! Takes out the burning mummy. Safe and sound. 300 gold. Oh yeah, we still haven't gotten enough food from the from the bombs yet. And <laughs> Numa's just skipping ahead. Numa found a treasure chest. What's inside? An MP candy. Thanks for the compliment, Numa. Oh, it's a hiccups button again. Uh, let's try it. Hey, it stopped. Oh, it actually worked that time. And our friendship grew a little. Last time, last time it didn't work, and he just got over panicked and got injured himself. But that's the first time it actually worked. And we found the inn. And me and Anuma are now level 13. Let's some growl up. Oh wait, we already- I thought we already got- I thought we didn't have the rare hog donuts. Okay, I was wrong. Alright. It's been a while since I've just seen those, so... I don't remember what we haven't, haven't got yet. What we haven't haven't got yet. Mm -hmm. And neither of us like the donuts. Alright. So now, let's see, today's outing, we're going to go to the cafe. Let's chill the cafe. Okay, what's it going to be now? Oh, what did you order? Oh, the usual. The Josh special. And Numa just gets a coffee. <laughs> Not a Sunday. Good for you. Now let's go ahead and set out again. I kind of wish they added more events because I feel like now they're just starting to repeat. Or not, not really starting, but they started repeating a little while ago. I think they started repeating back in Chapter 3. Anyway, another level to do. As the journey continues. Summon spells good. 
Did you toot Anuma? <laughs> I hope it's not the toot that smells good. But anyway, now we gotta fight some enemies. Let's switch out that hobgoblin, because I hate it more. Igniting. Okay, hobgoblin is down. Nice one, Anuma. Oh, what the? Oh, it took his weapon! That's the first time I've seen a mummy do that in this game. Lightning! Hey, give me a full of energy. What's he gonna do? He <laughs> just slaps it in the face. <laughs> but apparently that killed it. And he got his weapon back. It's all sticky. <laughs> I imagine it'd be all burnt because it's a burning mummy. And it levels up. Got a hot dog donut. Getting blisters. Wahoo! Are you stronger than the Dark Lord, Professor Day? Hmm. That's a tricky one. I'm sure if it came to a fight, you'd win no probs. Yes, maybe I would. But I'm not a big fan of conflict. And anyway, being the Dark Lord is your mission, not mine. In my humble opinion. I wonder if I can. You can. I'm sure of it. Well, thanks, Professor Dave. I'm glad you have that much confidence in me. But I wonder why he's not trying to defeat the Dark Lord. Considering he tried to protect me from the Dark Lord in Chapter 1. But anyway, now I got two labeled, uh, two labeled paths. A box, or a lever. To the lever! And before we get to the lever, we gotta fight enemies. Oh, let's do it again. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the burning mummy this time. I don't want it stealing our weapons again. Okay, burning mummy's down. Bring it on! Boom. Lightning! And took it out. How about that? And a Numa level up. Learn Mega Cure! Restore a great amount of HP to a friend with Divine Light. Uses more magic power than normal cure. And got some hot donuts. I need some cold water. I'm not giving up. There's the lever. Pull it! What did that do? Ooh! Treasure chest! The hidden path opened up! Yay! Like I said, whenever there's just one lever, you want to pull it. But when there's two, that's when it gets tricky. Alright. Printer goes up again. Level 14. Learn to lend a hand too. Today's grub. Straw Sunday and Hong Kong Donuts. Right of ice. Okay, today's outing. Uh, fishing spot. Gonna go fishing again. Imagine if they went fishing in this lava lake. What would they catch? Lava bubbles? Oh, clear your mind. <laughs> Anuma fell asleep. That's not what I meant. <laughs> well, that's a newer version of that event. Alright, now we can go to the exclamation point. But before we do, we still got one more path to do here, which is the box path. We can fast forward. And we're gonna go fight some enemies again. Starting with this duo, as usual. Slash attack. This one doesn't do as much damage now. I 
I'm kind of glad that the slash attack doesn't do much damage anymore. Because that was kind of getting annoying. Is also why I didn't like the Hobgoblins that much. It's because their slash attack is usually pretty devastating. Okay, now to the box pad. We're gonna go find some boxers! Boxers! But first we got enemies. No box enemies, but a bomb and a burning mummy. We know what to do first. Take out the bomb. And kaboom! That's a mummy jerky. Alright, that's all. And this is the box. A treasure chest. Inside. Three game tickets. They should have just marked a game ticket instead of box. More of a treasure, it's just a chest. Maybe the game tickets were in a box. I don't know. In the treasure chest. Who knows? Okay, level 15 with me and Anula. And that level is clear. Hey, right, get back up, no breaks. Okay, grub. Mummy jerky. Neither of us have tried it, so let's give it to Anula. He likes it. And how come don't I give that to me? Okay, what's in the arcade today? Generous helping experience, puzzle vestments, or budget jelly jaw tickets. I mean, the experience points would be useful. Okay, let's go ahead and do another outing. Let's do some karaoke. Oh, this again. And he falls asleep. <laughs> Due to my energetic singing. Anyway, we learn to share together. Two MP sweets. You know what? I'm just gonna. Ah, uh, nah. I was thinking about it. We're trying to go for the experience points, but we could try to find out rare food later on, so I'm just gonna hold off for now. And now let's go here. This should be the meetup spot. Hmm. I wonder how everyone else is doing. Meanwhile. We can't just hang around. Let's keep going. Yeah, it's just Andrew and Flowey. So they don't have Turbo to help them, and they don't have Professor Dave to help them either. <laughs> it's just the two of them alone. Wanna go to Andrew's room? Well, who else's room would you go to? You have no one else. <laughs> anyway, let's see what they do. I was cleaning. It's just common sense to clean up after yourself. Well, obviously. Even though some people don't do it. Okay, today's outing. Oh wait, what's in the arcade first? Oh, more experience points. <laughs> well, actually, I think one of them's a little behind. Or Wooly Flower, which would be a clothing upgrade for Flowey. I think I think Flowey's a little bit behind the experience points, actually. Oh, three hours tickets, thanks. Let's try it again. No nope, more end tickets. <laughs> Come on. More adding tickets. Dang, I have too many of these now. Oh well, it's worth a try. Uh, I can't go horsing around. Turbo's not even there. Uh, let's have them go to the ranch. Hopefully, someone new will happen there because we haven't gone there that much. Sheep! Aw, so cute! Ah! Spot on, right? Not quite there yet. What the heck, Flowey? Stop horsing around! <laughs> nice pun, Andrew. You could say that pun is utterly ridiculous. Oh wait, there's no cows here. That kind of ruined it. No, right. Let's just go ahead and move on. Let's spend more time fighting and less our lame puns. As the journey continues! Now Flowey's seen my catchphrase. That caveman was a shock. It cuts us off from the others too. 
What if they're going on without us? Don't you think we should set out too? Yes, we'll probably meet them up ahead. Yep, let's go! And meet up we will. Eventually. Oh, fork in the road with three different directions. Uh, none of them are labeled, so let's just go straight on. And we get enemies. Two hot goblins that are burning on me. And because they're computer controlled, I can't decide what attack they're gonna do. So this is just auto battling. They have one hot goblin down. Ouch. And it takes Flowey's emerald leaf. <laughs> Smacks him in the face. Flame! Get his weapon back. It's all sticky. Yeah, yeah, stop complaining and fight. There you go. Team Andrew won. And got Hobgob Donuts and Mummy Turkey. Yeah, I knew Flower was like a level behind. He's only like level 12. There's something I need to get off my chest. Sometimes Flowey wears his clothes inside out. <laughs> but I haven't told him yet. <laughs> That's a little funny. So it's just like keeping secrets from each other. And now they're about to go and defeat the Huns. Or just find a treasure chest and not defeat the Huns. 700 gold, alright. Not bad. And they made it to the end. Good work. And now someone's going up between them. Tell me the name of the person you like. I don't like anyone. I do. That's nice. At least pretend to be interested. <laughs> Andrew's not even interested. All right, learn the three, learn morning. Okay, someone wants an upgrade. Flowey wants an upgrade. Horsetail shoe. Let's definitely get that for Flowey. All right, attack and magic upgrade. A horsetail shoe. Oh, but that's not Turbo's tail. I'm just kidding, it's not. All right. Okay, random eyes. Today's outing. Let's have them go to the botanical garden. Oh, we didn't see tons of flowers. Well, you're going to the botanical garden with a flower. How many people can say that? Oh, the tulips thing again. Yellow tulips, on the other hand, love still, but love has not has not yet been realized. Oh, how interesting! Does that mean flower is a yellow tulip? No, it's okay. He's not a tulip. He's a golden flower, not a yellow flower. Anyway, get some mushroom saute out of that somehow. And now let's go set out again. So now the only tulip we haven't yet seen the meaning of yet is the red tulip. And also there's a treasure chest up ahead. And I think either Andrew or Flowey deserves this upgrade. As the journey continues. So yeah, I'm gonna let either Andrew or Flowey get this upgrade. You're not serious. And here's the upgrade. And the upgrade goes to... Flowey! Wedding bouquet! <laughs> it's an attack and magic upgrade. Yeah, now Flowey has a wedding bouquet. I wonder if he's gonna toss it. Well, he'll toss it to her enemies. And speaking of enemies, we have, ooh, a rare snurf. We must defeat the snurf. Here we go again. Oh, defending. 
12 damage. Go! Oh, what? One damage. Come on. Oh, what? It disappeared. It vanished. Ah, dang it. But anyway, rare snurps. They don't drop a gold or uh, food like the uh, tasty and uh, gold snurps do. They drop experience points. And because they have extremely high defense, they're hard to defeat. I believe they take five hits with one damage to take out. And if you do defeat them, they give a lot of experience points. But unfortunately, he vanished, which is the thing that rare snurfs can do. Which means we get nothing. Well, this was a disappointment. Which sucks. Oh well. At least we got to actually see it. Okay. To the gym. Yo, step up, my friend. Time for a barbell battle. I believe in you, Andrew. I believe Flowey tried this earlier. And he didn't make any progress like Flowey did. Well, then anyway, Flowey didn't make any progress either. Anyway, got some gorilla protein. Alright, let's go ahead and meet up. Wait, look! Hey, Flowey! Hey, Andrew! I'm so glad you're okay! The party was reunited! Alright, now we have our group of four heroes back. As well as Professor Dave and Turbo. Okay, let's see if our only grub. Uh, Andrew or Numa? Who gets it? Uh, Numa. And he hates it. Okay, today's outing. Uh, fishing spot again. With Andrew and Wally. I got so many freaking outing tickets now. <laughs> Andrew, how could you forget the bait? Anyway, learn praise together. We've seen that event before. Baby food and very rare baby food. Somehow they got that. Alright, let's build our team back up again. Well, we're still a level behind, but oh well. Okay, we got a new level, but first, I gotta go back and do these other two paths. And then up ahead, we're gonna go fight the World 4 mid boss. Yes, you heard me. Another mid boss already. Okay, today's path, we're gonna go down. What about Flowey's feeling? Hey, don't push. Because you'll push me right into enemies. Oh, two bombs. And boom! Double boom! Nice. So it comes like a chain reaction. And Andrew level up. Ooh, got new food to try. Bomble gum. Exploding chewing gum. Only 9.95. Oh yeah, I forgot a fast forward. <laughs> I was too busy thinking about that one SpongeBob was over there with that in it. Ooh, rare barbecue scorpion. A new version of the barbecue scorp barbecue scorpion we don't have. And now we got more enemies. Another bomb and a burning mummy. Switch out the bomb and the explosion from the bomb will take out the burning mummy. The bombs do like 100 damage with explosion. At least if we can take them out before they use explosion on us, then that's a good thing. Because right now I feel like an explosion from any of those bombs would kill us instantly. Ooh, a new achievement. Obtain 100 different foods. You've rescued 1,050 people. Power from the god. HP should be close enough to 320. And the next perk is going to be at 1,100. Cedar Grove. Rare Barbecue Scorpion. 
Hardcore effects for hardcore foodies. Bumble gum. Be careful blowing bubbles with this stuff. It's got extra pop. Alright, randomize. Everyone but Flowey gets the bumble gum. And randomize again. <laughs> Flowey got the barbecue scorpion. Okay, upgrades. One for Andrew. Titanium frying pan. It's got like a sword handle on the end. Alright, nice. Titanium frying pan. Increases attack and defense. That's good. Okay, today's outing. Uh, let's do the botanical garden again. Wow, and Andrew are going out again. Mostly because their friendship is the lowest. Butterflies. <laughs> Sweet too. They're gonna go track down a tree. What tree did they get? Let me guess. Butterfly honey? Nope. No, an ice cream banana. Dang it, I was hoping they'd come back with butterfly honey. Alright, one more path in this area. As the journey continues. Try not to worry. Alright, time to head up. Oh no, not this! Not Josh good. And Andrew! Oh, exclamation point. Um, sorry about before. Andrew still won't apologize. Andrew won't apologize. Dang, none of them have been apologizing. Crap. Every time I get this exclamation point thing and this happens, they never apologize. And now we got some enemies. Well, luckily that was enough, wasn't enough to start a fight. Anyway, let's go ahead and flush out the bomb. And explode the burning mummy. Who dies? I mean, technically the mummy was already dead, wasn't it? Because aren't mummies like dead pharaohs or something like that? Or just dead people wrapped in bandages? So I, I guess they just killed them again. And there's a treasure chest with a game ticket inside. And we're back at the end again. Alright, all three paths are clear on this one. Let's see, any more upgrades before we take on the next fight? And no breaks! Yes, one for me. Experiment Blast! Almost looks like a machine or a battery. Freezes attack and magic, give that to me. Alright, Experiment Blast! Attack and magic are both now 84. Alright, nice scrub. Demise. Cade. Ooh, possibility for an upgrade. Heart uniform, which would be some new clothes for Andrew. Alright, a defensive grade for Andrew. Heart uniform. He'll have the green heart. Wait a minute. I just realized something. Green Heart. In Undertale, I think the Green Heart belonged to a chef human. Because he had, like, the apron and the frying pan. Maybe there's a connection of some sort. Anyway, let's go horsing around. Where's the lowest? Uh, Numa or Flowey? Uh, let's have Flowey go with Turbo. Alright, you deserve a break, too. But now that Flowey ran into an enemy. Oh, it ran into a bomb! Watch out, Flowey! It may explode! Take it out with mounted attack! Kablooey! Flowey took out the bomb. I think I won. What do you mean, we won? Oh, wait, you're counting Turbo too, I forgot. <laughs> oh, they're going stargazing! How are the stars so beautiful? Urgh. I'm cold. <laughs> Turbo just sneezed. Guess you were chilly too, Turbo. How the heck is he chilly? He's got flames coming out of him. Plus he's covered with fur. 
Well, I guess animals can get cold too, whether they got flames or not. But anyway, they learned to saddle together. So now Flowey can ride Turbo. And we got some shield riding. All right. Right now, I'd say everyone but Flowey is ready to fight this next fight. Because now it's time for the World Four Mid Boss. Let's go. As the journey continues. Yeah, come all sweaty. Wait, what? Oh, something on the ground. And a pea candy. Who cares? Huh? What's that noise? <coughs> Sounds like barking and growling. <coughs> Sounds like a dog. Or lots of dogs. <coughs> Let's be careful. This growling reminds me of. Cerberus, the guard dog of the underworld. Wait a minute. The faces on top of their heads. It's Matthew, Reggie, and Marley. Okay now, little doggy. Come on. Let's see if you're all bark. Or if you've got some bite. Listen to me, guys. You're being mind controlled. We're your friends. You don't have to kill us. Freedom does not require suffering. Emancipation is worth any price. Yeah, even if it costs human lives. Or yours. Oh, power from the gods. Hyper sprinkles! Sprinkle this to hype up your me and do more damage. Oh. Stronger foes, and a new power has awakened. The Hyper Sprinkles! Kelly okay, Hyper lets a me deal more damage to enemies. You can really turn a battle around. Ho ho! Anyway, we're your friends. 
Let stupid king give you a special treat or train your own friends, little doggy. Yeah, I bet you go all puppy eyes for him. You got it all wrong, guys. We're here because we want to help you. Josh. Yeah, you really helped us out. We owe you one, don't we? rescued three more of my friends. One of my best friends, my passed away dog, and the, and the retired president of Nintendo. For honor, my body is ready. Woof woof. Matthew's back. Reggie's back. Marley's back. Got back the warrior, the imp, and the princess. Oh, Josh. You saved us. We owe you one. You bet you do. This rescue, this rescue wasn't what you call easy. Eh? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. The other three are in the Dark Lord's Fortress. I'm not looking forward to it, but let's get cracking. We can do it together. Right, let's go. We'll go on ahead. Laters. Matthew and the others headed for an inn. Matthew, Reggie, and Marley have rejoined your party. So, that's six people rescued. You've got enough firepower now. Yep. Then my work here is done. I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Thanks for all your help. Great stage for the rest of the day. Left your party. Oh well. It was cool to have him on the team, though. He's pretty powerful. All right, and there's the end. We took him down the world form mid boss. And now we gotta place these guys somewhere. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and have Matthew here. Reggie here. Oh, wait, no. Wrong way. Matthew here. And let's put Marley with Turbo. Or let's see. Yeah, let's put Marley with Turbo. Uh, 17. Uh, level 7. Alright. Upgrades. Wooly Flower. Alright. Wooly Flower. Flower made of wool. And Marley wants an upgrade. Blade Fan. That looks pretty deadly. All right, Blade Fan. It kind of looks like a bunch of throwing dice put together to make a fan. All right, Cedar Grub. Very rare Hell Dog. Throw in some veggies to cover all food groups in one bite. All right, and who should get it? Uh, let's see. Let's give it to Reggie. He hates it. Uh, Shield Grotten. Uh. Let's give it to Matthew. Okay, today's outing. Let's go horsing around. Who will? Let's see. Let's have a Numa go with Turbo. You prefer a carrot, eh? And enemies. Oh, Hob got one. He got this. Anuma didn't need to worry. And they're going to the ranch. Nice and easy. Pick up the pace. Oh, they're going faster. Time to gallop. Super and now we're going even faster. Oh, that was gonna fall off. <laughs> oh, well. well they saddled up together. So now Numa can ride turbo. Got a mouse tree and a rare mouse tree. And now that we've taken out the world form. Oh wait, now that we have more than more than four party members, we can now choose who we want to come with us on our adventures. Uh, let's see here. Matthew, Reggie, and Marley have yet to level up, so let's go ahead and take them with me. But anyway, now that we've beaten the world form mid boss, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this off here. So next time on Metopia, we're gonna go take down this tasty snurp. So see you guys then. And remember, we must defeat the Snurf.